Mrs. Stewart, what are the success factors of the John Lewis model in your opinion? Well, John Lewis is a unique organisation in as much as it's owned entirely by the staff, no outside shareholders, and that puts it in a, a very unusual position in terms of the engagement of everybody working there. And I hope that if you came into a John Lewis department store or a Waitrose supermarket, you get that feeling that the people working there behave like owners. They look after the customer much more. And lots of businesses talk about we're customer oriented, whereas John Lewis says quite unashamedly, we're a partner business. The people who work in the business are partners because it's the partners who look after the customers and they really make the difference. But there are two other advantages which we have. First of all, the John Lewis Partnership was set up in 1929, so that's 83 years of working in this consistent way. And that long-term perspective gives it a great advantage. We're not looking to make the biggest profit we can this year, but to make sure that we build on our history, keep on moving the business forward, grow it steadily for the future. And Compared with businesses that are forced to respond to short-term commitments, that's a great advantage. And the other one is, it's based on values. Um, John has prides itself on the integrity of its approach to all matters, uh, and the, the way that, that the partners in the business behave towards each other and behave towards customers and to suppliers. And that sense of values is something which gives people working in the business real pride in what they do, they're proud to do it, and they do a better job as a result of it.